Thank you for joining us. I'm Naiba Reynoso. Ahead, a barber shop is now a cut above after a makeover, honoring families who help children in need and channeling the afterlife on the streets of Whittier. But first, the county is hard at work connecting formerly homeless individuals to the essential services they need to stay housed. Once residents are moved out of encampments through the county's Pathway Home Initiative, a broad array of county agencies work with clients on everything from accessing health care to landing a job. Here's more. What you're seeing today is an example of a series of, of conversations between county agencies where we have decided to concentrate our various resources to provide a day of connection for people that are recently coming indoors from an encampment resolution program um, titled Pathway Home. When my husband passed away, I fell apart. That's God on his truth fell apart. Um, we were kicked out of our place on 120th. COVID hit and it destroyed our lives. It destroyed our lives. But we're picking up the pieces, thank you God. So this service connection model that you're seeing here is a relatively new model. Uh, and it was piloted recently after we, as a county, um, we're, we're, we're realizing that it was very challenging for folks to access our services one-off. Um, and so, what was envisioned was an opportunity to come together, um, provide all of these services in one fell swoop for the whole of the population that have come indoors at one moment. Everybody has a whole bunch of needs, right? So they've got medical needs, they've got uh, employment needs, they've got people have disabilities, they have access and functional needs. And so the county government, all of the services that the county government can bring to the table, we're bringing to the table. When I get some all the way no stability, I wanna go back to be a registered nurse all the way, or RN, um, to finish out my credentials. Um, uh, finish, I want to open a nonprofit for battered women, because I, I am an ex a victim of uh, domestic violence uh, throughout my years of being on the streets. Sometimes you fall off, but you know you got to get back up. That's the whole point. If you can fall and get back up, it's all right. Just don't stay down. I'm going to become a chef. Chef Boyardee. That's, that's it. That's really good because yeah, that's what I want to be. Joseph Center has a culinary training program. Yeah. That's what I want to be. I've always wanted to be that, that my whole life. I think that what I'm going to do is connect Yolanda to our culinary training program. Yeah. Okay, great. Where you'll go into Venice every single day, they'll train you, and then you'll do an internship. And then right after your internship, you get permanent employment. All right, that's what I want. I'm on the road to recovery. If it wasn't for this lovely lady and all the people that are here, I don't know where I'd be. The Raise a Child organization recently honored 10 resource families who have opened their hearts and homes as foster and adoptive parents. I knew that adopting a child that wasn't mine, I could love that child like my own. She is a whole brand new love that I would do anything for that child especially like the first time he called me mommy and the first time he called him dada. Just knowing how much we love that little guy and just how much joy he's brought into our lives. We're here tonight with Raise a Child to celebrate their great work, making sure that we expand our foster families who are available to care for LA County's young people who need help. Total fostering, we've had 60. Um, and then right now we have uh, four in our house. I think the way we look at it is uh, like the kids didn't ask to be in this spot and we just, you know, we have a lot of love to give. In LA County right now today we have about 14,000 children uh, that can't live safely in the home with their parents. Tonight we're going to honor foster parents who, like I said, have gone above and beyond. It's not for the faint of heart. Our foster son required a heart transplant. I never imagined I was going to be a stay-at-home mom, but because of his health issues, I am. It's challenging, but it's also very rewarding when we do see him running um, healthy because we, we almost lost him. We thank you for the work that you're doing because our children are worthy, our children are deserving of each and every gift that you are offering through the family that you provide. 
in the court system, I don't think that a lot of foster families get credit for what they do. So I think it's awesome when they're honoring people and recognizing um, the hard work that, you know, that the foster families do and just the love that they're showing these amazing little kids. A longtime community barbershop in City Terrace is jump-starting its business thanks to a renovation made possible by the Department of Economic Opportunity. Take a look. The Department of Economic Opportunity and Supervisor Solis are here today to celebrate a grand opening of Menos Barbershop. They have been a participant in the Renovate Facade Improvement Program. As you can see, they did a kind of a facelift. They renovated this, the facade of this building and this building has been here, this barbershop for over 30 years. And the owner, Menos, is so proud to be able to have the assistance of the county. We invested $55,000 to do all this renovation. New glass, new uh, windows, new uh, signage, also ADA improvements, all the things that are necessary for businesses to keep upgraded. And in many ways, small businesses can't afford that right now. Very grateful for the community, for the support, you know, of, of the supervisor, Solis, and beautifying the, the community. You know, it's really looking a lot nicer, you know, it's really growing and we're very appreciative of that. It's important that we help our small businesses reinvest in themselves. We know it can be extremely expensive to upgrade your facade, uh, to do any sort of the necessary improvements to keep your doors open. And so that's where the county is here to help. Thanks for joining us. We leave you with scenes from a Day of the Dead celebration in Whittier with deep roots in Latin American culture. We'll see you next time on LA County Close Up.